Okay, today I'm going to be doing some cooking. I'm not going to be cooking anything special, I'll be doing some camp food. Uh, it's the Wayfarer's uh, meals. We've got uh, meatballs and pasta, and we've got cheese and carne. Uh, Karina's in the background at the moment, just making us coffee, because un unlike Keith Freud, I can't afford wine all the time, and that would be so nice. Uh, introducing my helpers, so you've got Karina, who's on camera, and tea duty, and pouring water into pot duty. And below me is my faithful kitchen assistant, is Ringo. He's deaf. He can't hear you. So he can't hear me say his name. Ringo! But you can see me move my hand. And you'll probably see the other two running around like complete and total numpties. As usual, if you need something silent, yeah, like, they all want to out. You want to right, I'm going to hand over to my camera lady. Like I said, I'm going to be doing uh, two meals. Uh, went to go outdoors. They cost a fiver each. And then she got. Um, the, uh, the the discount card and they're four pounds fifty I think the two meals that we got so I chose one and Karina chose the other one Karina chose the meatballs that's what it looks like and I chose the chili con carne basically they're all boiled in the bag basically they're all boiled in the bag and we're just going to do that in a minute. I'm just going to bring it back up to temperature. 300 grams. If I'm going to be doing maybe a two night walk, one or two night walks, then I will probably take these. If I'm going to do longer walks and I'm not going to get access to anywhere which uh, I can buy more food at, I'll probably take the freeze dry stuff and then just add water. But we're starting with these uh, for the time being to see what they're like and see if we enjoy them and see what they taste like. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to know the ingredients, so I'll put links in the uh, description below. Uh, 300 grams each. Uh, they've got enough calories uh, so that at the end of the day you've had a long hike and you can have a nice hot meal. And a nice substantial meal. So for now we're just going to wait for this to, the water to reboil and then we're going to get them chucked in. Alright, well we've waited the allotted uh, 7 to 8 minutes. Uh, I hope I haven't burnt it. Okay. Looks like it could be done with stirring a little bit. Uh, I'll just hand you over to my uh, fatal camera lady. Yes, you can squeeze past me and my fat arse. Focus, thank you. You don't need to see that bit. Yeah, really, really, really complicated stuff pouring hot water out. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. What will be? That's the general idea of cooking. <coughs> use the pokey stick. No, use the pokey stick. Why didn't I think about using the pussy thing? Because you're a man. You sexist person, you. <laughs> I thought of it. Case in point. I, I'm sure Ringo would think of using something else to get something hot. No, he would just use his mouth. I'm not sure Honey would then. Right. I'm supposed to allow you this to cool for a minute, but we'll uh, crack on. Well, it's not going to be that hot, is it? Really? Cupcake. Cupcake. Say, <laughs> so I want some. Dudes, what are you doing? Why are you excluding me? Is it because of my cat? <laughs> look, at her. look at her face. She's like, yes. Give me. Yeah, <laughs> look it's really her. yours. <laughs> it is. Secondary taster. Third taster. Well, it smells like chili. Kind of looks like chili. 
What do you think, Cupcake? Not quite as brown as I would have. Would have expected. Now I've got Charlie up here as well. <laughs> Charlie's like, yeah. Can I help you, Charlie? We feel excluded because we can't do the outside walky bits, so we're doing this bit. Kind of totty portion. Yeah, I'm not brown. It's 500 grams in the average can, isn't it? Yeah. So that's probably why. Right, it's like cross over here. We're going Italian. No, I meant uh, some chilli in there. Smells nice. You've got little meatballs in there. Yep. What do you think, Cupcake? Not interested. Can I have some? Can I have some dreamies? Because then, you know, tasty. He actually licked his lips. Right, in as it goes. That's what they look like. You get my shot to the side side. Yep. Now all the bolts and bit now. I go first, but then there's a fork for Karina. This kind of fork, because the other kind infuriates me. Where's the camera? The other kind is too <coughs> long. Right. Go for the meatball first. You can't be that bad. They can't be as bad as tinned meatballs. Hmm. Meatballs are slightly chewy. They're um, not full of flavor, not lots of flavour. The sauce isn't actually very strong either. It's, uh, it's only a plain tomato sauce, but I was expecting it to be a little bit herbier. You can bring your own seasonings though. Pasta is overcooked, but that's to be expected in. Um, in these. Boiling the right, ever loving it a bit for eight minutes. And we made the bold choice not to wear a white top today. That's not nice. <laughs> so you got that chemically No no, it's stodgy. It's um where the rice is uh, um I'll see where the rice becomes overcooked from doing the from doing the uh, um, uh, the, the, the sterilisation period. It's obviously overcooked the rice slightly. And all you get is you've got this rice flavour that goes through it. Um, not as nice as a rice, um, rice pudding. It's like a kind of texture of a rice pudding. Um, there's not much flavour to it, it's not very strong. It's supposed to be chilli, so you expect it to be a little bit spicy. It's not spicy at all. Obviously I would add hot sauce. One of the things I will be taking when I meet is hot sauce. I love hot sauce. I'll always say it wrong and she'll she'll laugh at me again. Chipolata sauce. And it's not as chipolote or it's something. It's chipotle. chipotle. That's it. Um, or sriracha, you like sriracha. That'll um, pep it up a little bit with both of them. but. Both are actually quite bland in flavour. Right, I'll take on the uh, camera. <laughs> the fork stuck to the thing. Don't worry, we'll get your view on it after cooking. It's not any worse than the pound stuff. But for like a five or a pack, you would think it would be a bit better. Hmm. Definitely. I think it would have, um, let's say, more flavour to it. So you can get a tin of meatballs. Yes, it's a bit heavier for a tin. You can decan it into a, water, into a Ziploc bag. And the pasta is like baby food. Yeah, it is really, really soft, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's got to do with sterilisation though. I think it's, um, I think they should have put it in a bit more al dente. Mm. 
Do you want to try the chili? I just tried it. Oh, you, the, the chili was like baby food. Um, both of them are like baby food. It's like eating a jar of baby food. All right, well, there you've had it. We've uh, just tried the um, meatballs. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I was on out in the wilderness somewhere and it was freezing cold and this was going to warm me up, I'd eat it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd grudge paying money for it. Yeah, I kind of begrudge five pounds for uh, something which is quite bland. Uh, I find it Mushy. rather, rather bland. And what do you what think, cupcake? Do, what I would do is I would, if I was to take either of these, I would take... Uh, my, my my hot sauce and I would uh, see how it goes from there. The uh, so the meatballs that was the meatballs and pasta, and that was the chicken and curry uh, and rice. Cuppy. Oh, we'll get to see if we can. There's no point asking the dog because he'll eat it before. It's quite hot. Well, the cat likes it. Yum. Yum. Bit on the warm side. That, well, that's a meh from Daffy, a meh for Karina, and a mmm, I'll eat that from the... Could you uh, eat a bit loader? Cheerio.